Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be talking about a specific issue that the industry is running into with regards to the Samsung Flip 4. And that is when the display is replaced, you get a blackout screen. You got a quick and simple solution for that? Let's get into the video. Now the solution is actually quite simple and all it involves is a really small magnet. The addition of this magnet will allow it to light back up when it's opened and re restore its function. Make sure it's the back display is the, the only thing that lights up when it closes and the front display lights up when it opens. Let me show you the actual process from start to finish. You might have found yourself working on a Samsung Flip 4 and you've run into this issue where when you go to boot it up, the display comes on in both the front and the back. But as soon as the device comes all the way on, the front display just shuts off and the only display like that, and the only display that will work is gonna be at that point here on the back. Now you might notice a little magnet like this that's positioned there in the back. And what's really interesting about this magnet is if you hold it just right and you get it in the right spot, the display lights up, see? Well, there's a trick to getting this to work. Apart from finding that position, if you're running into the issue, so here you can see I've got one of those little iPad mini magnets itself. So I'm just gonna take some nips here and we're gonna go ahead and snip it right there. And I need to take a little bit more off to make it the right width. And there you can see now, got it the right length. That red line goes horizontal and you'll see that there's a little notch, a little kind of a a rounded side to it. That goes up here in this corner like this and you'll position it just like that where the red line is going horizontal and that's how it should come pre-installed. Sometimes you just need to add a little bit of reinforcement by adding a little tiny ring on the back and luckily everything should still fit and you've done it that way. So as you can see got it installed like that off and on Right. When you close it on down, what will happen is the screen will turn off in the front and the back one can come on. When we open it back up, it should work, but if this magnet isn't strong enough because it was extracted with heat or it's not lined up properly, it won't work. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of magnet there to the back and you can see how it lit back up again. Now when I go to close it, it shuts off, the back one comes on, we'll open it back up, and the display will come back on. And I'm just gonna make a quick little adjustment here so we don't have any pressure here in the back. I'm gonna snip out this teeny tiny piece of plastic right here, just like that. All right, fully installed, it'll look like that. And you can see that that display is on when I close it turns off, the back one comes on. Let me just install the back here real fast. All right, so yeah, now you can see when we close it, back comes on, when we open it back up, the display is back. So that's the trick to uh, getting these displays to not black out on boot up. And there you go, a really simple and easy solution to getting the display back up and running on the Samsung Flip 4. Like this video if it works for you and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.